How can I pass data from Flask to JavaScript in a template? My app makes a call to an API that returns a dictionary. I want to pass information from this dict to JavaScript in the view. I am using the Google Maps API in the JS, specifically, so I'd like to pass it a list of tuples with the long slash lat information. I know that render underscore template will pass these variables to the view so they can be used in HTML, but how could I pass them to JavaScript in the template? You can use variable anywhere in your template, not just in the HTML part. So this should work. Think of it as a two-stage process. First, Ginger, the template engine Flask uses, generates your text output. This gets sent to the user who executes the JavaScript he sees. If you want your Flask variable to be available in JavaScript as an array, you have to generate an array definition in your output. Ginger also offers more advanced constructs from Python, so you can shorten it too. You can also use for loops, if statements and many more. See the Ginger 2 documentation for more. Also, have a look at Ford's answer who points out the Tobson filter which is an addition to Ginger 2's standard set of filters. Edit November 2018, Tobson is now included in Ginger 2's standard set of filters. The ideal way to go about getting pretty much any Python object into a JavaScript object is to use JSON. JSON is great as a format for transfer between systems, but sometimes we forget that it stands for JavaScript Object Notation. This means that injecting JSON into the template is the same as injecting JavaScript code that describes the object. Flask provides a Jinja filter for this, Toadson dumps a structure to a JSON string and marks it safe so that Jinja does not auto-escape it. This works for any Python structure that is JSON serializable. Using a data attribute on an HTML element avoids having to use inline scripting, which in turn means you can use stricter CSP rules for increased security. Specify a data attribute like so. Then access it in a static JavaScript file like so. Alternatively, you could add an endpoint to return your variable. Then do an XHR to retrieve it. <laughs> 